everyone, my name is Annette, and you might know me on social media as Netters Plays, and today on Applied Mechanic, I'm going to feature a game mechanism that I really enjoy in this game called Garden Eel Go. Now in Garden Eel Go, they use this really unique game mechanism known as voting. So let me show you a little bit about the game. You see there's three columns with three different hunters on top of each column. What we're trying to do is collect these different eels, which will give us positive points. If, however, an eel that we collect with a shark next to it, we'll turn the next card that we collect into negative points. So how do you collect these eels? Now every player is also going to have a set of these hunter cards, just like the ones on top of these columns. Every round, a player is going to pick and choose a card secretively. One player is going to be the watchman, and they get to place this boat on one of these hunter cards in order to block that column. If a player picked the same column as the watchman, they get no cards. Any player that picked a different card than the watchman will go ahead and collect some eels. So as you can see, the voting mechanism in this game is fairly simple to understand because all players are only picking from one of the three cards. Now, the gameplay itself is very interesting how it interacts with that mechanism because, of course, the players want to go to the column with the most amount of eels. However, the watchman also knows that, so they can easily place their boat and block them from getting those cards. However, that's when the psychology between players easily takes place. Because the watchman also knows they want to collect the most amount of eels, they might think that they'll go for the lower cards to play it safe. Now that becomes a real treat in the game. So if you're interested in this game, you should definitely check out Garden Eel Go.